Okay, so I had an opportunity to go to an advanced preview screening of Booksmart, which comes out in cinemas either the 24th or the 27th, depending on which country you're in. And it's a comedy film which has some inspiration with some of the plot lines to some other older films. I'm going to suggest like Dude Where's My Car and Harry and Kumar and even maybe sort of The Hangover. But I know that's not really a comedy, but, you know, with this sort of plot development, you'll see where I'm going with that. I'm going to try and avoid spoilers throughout this, but I will say from the offset, it's a very entertaining film. There was a lot of laughs and there's some emotional moments, so I definitely recommend going to see it if you're interested. Now, I'm going to go through a few of the different things, but again, I'm going to try and avoid spoilers, but, you know, just to give an idea of what sort of thing is going on. I'm going to give a brief synopsis of what's going on with the film. So, it did start out a bit dry, maybe, and, um, you know, a lot of the characters were overly caricatured, to say the least, but... When it comes through the film, you'll see why they were like that and, you know, it makes sense once you get into the film. But at the very beginning, with the introduction to the characters before the actual comedy starts coming in, it's like, it starts off with the main character in her room with, you know, a self-help sort of affirmation thing, which it, it's a very Zoomer sort of, you know... It, it feels very Zoomer orientated at the start, and you start wondering, is this what colleges and schools are like in America now? Because, you know, obviously America is very different to the UK, and, you know, I'm not familiar with how, you know, maybe people are in schools these days. But, yeah, it, it was a very. They're very highly caricatured, let's just say that. But anyway, so the main character, the whole story revolves around the main character spends her life, you know, focusing on her studies and her career and her future and completely put off her entire life. You know, she's not lived a life, she's not partied, she's not done anything like that because she's gone through school to, you know, be the greatest and the best. And, you know, she's brought her best friend along the way who's also, you know been in the shadows and neglected all of that so you know she thinks she's better than all of the other classmates and everyone and you know there's this whole thing where they're not allowed to say where they're going for their college studies because you know she wants to lord it over them as the class president and all that but you know try not to rob in that she's going to Yale or wherever it was you know this very fancy university and then um, you know she's friends with too many of the teachers and you know it's a bit awkward and that also gets rubbed in her face with a lot of it and then there's an instant where she's in the toilet and she overhears a lot of the classmates, you know, just really taking the piss out of her, you know, how she's all study and no life. And then she starts lording it over them, you know, as well, you know, I'm going to all these universities. And then, it's like, they just point out to her that one of them's also going to the same university she is. One of them's going to work for Google. Another one's going to another fancy American university. And she just has a complete mental breakdown at that point. And, you know, starts asking everyone where they're going. And everyone in the school is going to some fancy institution. You know, it's just like... Then there's a very cinematic scene. We, this is right at the beginning, so it's not really going to be a spoiler. But it's like she has a psychotic break and it's more like the sort of scene that you'd use for someone who's going to become a psychopathic murderer but um you know artistic license i guess but still you know you did sort of feel up to that moment like the film was going down a non-comedic route you know and it was going to be like a murder horror sort of film <laughs> but then she decides well you know we've missed out on all of this life while everyone else has loved the high life and still gone to all these fancy institutions and got into them. So her and her best friend have to go to at least one party before they graduate. So, you know, they've heard about 
this big party that's going on and in the dude where's my car and you know all this normal sort of comedic it's an established plot line let's just say that you know there's a series of calamities that go wrong with trying to get to this party and you know they they don't know where the party's at they're trying to discover where the party's at and there's let's just say three different groups well groups and they end up going to one party after another after another as they try to find out where this party is but the the parties that they end up getting invited to they think they're going to the correct party but then they go to the wrong party like they go to the rich kid party who's overly trying to you know buy everyone's affections and it's only him and Gigi and Gigi is Billy Lord didn't know she was going to be in this movie but first saw her in Screen Queens and she's a really really amazing actress and yes she plays the crazy roles a fair bit you know in this and in Screen Queens but she's been in other things as well and you know maybe lesser roles but she's a really fantastic actress and um <laughs> maybe my celebrity crush at the moment but yeah um she did a good role in that as well but it was just them two on the boat and then they try to get out of there to not be involved in that because, you know, it's like the lamest party ever with just them two people. <laughs> you know, it's like, mm, and um, a lot of servants. But there's a lot of humour in that as well. Now, there's instances where Gigi keeps going to every single party and turning up in, you know, some sort of all-knowing, godly sort of role. And, you know... That would be humorous if it wasn't for the fact that also the rich kid ends up turning up to every single party as well. And then when they've gone to the second party, which is the overly dramatic party, they're all at the final party as well. So it's like, okay, you know, Gigi being surprised to be everywhere when they've tried to get to this party. Yeah, that humor would come across better if everyone just didn't go from one party to another it's like the rich kid went to the second party and the third party and then all the people from the second party ended up at the third party so you, you know that kind of killed that line of joke but you know it still works out pretty well and you know the, there's a lot of humor in it and like i said they're trying to get this big grand experience of life because they've missed out till this point and then there's also a thing where one of the teachers had also missed out on life so much and you know she's grown up she has gone through all this and she didn't want them to do what she had done which was to just focus on studies and then have this sort of moment where she just sort of goes fuck studies and just goes party 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 and all of that and you know she didn't want the same to happen to them she wanted them to have a balance of life and um well that same sort of thing also happened in my life where shit parents who wouldn't let me go out and do anything so you know by the time i escaped i just wanted to go out and party and have life and so you know i've got a lot of crazy studies and crazy life and partying and <laughs> you know maybe i should have studied more but you know i i i just wanted to live life at that point because i'd been held back from doing so and so you know i associate with that a lot as well but yes try not to spoil anything there's some emotional moments in it as well so you know there are emotional moments and plot lines and developments and they do end up having all of the crazy moments and you know crazy events that they're looking for for stories in life and you know it's it's good that everyone also sort of loses their caricature ness and you know becomes more developed human beings and more full and rounded and i think it's pretty good you know so it's definitely a recommended and fun movie and there's some twist to it which you might not expect and you know i've tried not to spoil anything so you can go and enjoy it for yourself but I had a lot of laughs with it. It was very funny, you know. Even though the beginning starts off a bit dry, it's it's to develop the plots and the characters to come for the jokes ahead. And you know, there are a lot of 
crazy moments in it that you'll find quite funny. So I definitely recommend going to see it if you're interested and you want to laugh at the cinema. And, you know, there's a lot of cool people in it. And, like I said, I expect Billy Lord, and it's not just because I've got a crush. <laughs> but she's a fantastic actor. She's going to go very far. And, you know, even though she's only a support role in this, she does have a big recurring sort of influence on it that, you know, there's things to watch out for there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join me again some more. Goodbye.